hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this a uh, very cute little sleepy bunny so what you're gonna need you're gonna need two types of yarn one for the body and one for the legs the hands and the head which is the skin color and also I use a crochet hook which is 4.0 millimeters and also you're gonna need some scissors and a needle to attach your parts together so let's get started Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the head and for the head we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And six okay and then I'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap like that okay and then uh, for the second row uh, we're going to increase all around for a total of uh, 12 stitches in the second row okay so we're going to do two single crochet all the way around until the end okay so we're going to do in the first stitch you're going to do two single crochet then again do another single crochet in the same stitch and also in the second stitch you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch Okay, in the same next stitch do also single crochet two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat that until here uh, at the end for a total of 12 single crochet so you're going to do two single crochet two single crochet two single crochet in the remaining three stitches okay so after you're done with that in our third row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch then increase in the next single crochet increase all the way around until the end so we're going to do single crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the next one okay and then you do that again single crochet and then increase in the next so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then repeat that again so you're going to repeat that uh, six times until the end for a total of 18 single crochet so you're going to do two single crochet Okay, so repeat that pattern all around until here at the end for a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our fourth row, we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then increase in the next, and repeat that pattern all around until the end. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, two single crochet, so one, and then two, then we're going to increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay so repeat that again so single crochet and then increase in the next so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end so you're going to do two single crochet increase two single crochet increase until here where the marker is after that uh in our fifth row we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase in the first stitch and repeat the pattern all around until the end okay so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then we're going to repeat that again so single crochet one single crochet two 
then go crochet three and then increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat that all around until the end so three single crochet increase three single crochet increase until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our sixth row we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches then increase in the fifth stitch and repeat the pattern all around until the end so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four and then increase in the next stitch so we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat that pattern all around until here at the end so you're going to do four single crochet increase four single crochet increase until the end okay so after that uh, in our seventh row we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches then increase in the next stitch and repeat the pattern all around until the end for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five Okay, and then increase in the next stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then repeat that again. So you're going to do five single crochet, increase, five single crochet, increase, and repeat six times until here at the end for a total of 42 stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is row eight and row nine and 10, so for the next three rows, we're going to do single crochet all around for a total of 42 stitches in each row so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so repeat that uh, in this row and the next two rows so i'll see you when you're done with the three rows so that i show you how to do the 11th row Okay, so after you're done with your 10th row, uh, in our 11th row, we're going to start decreasing. Okay, so you're going to do five single crochet and then decrease in the next two stitches and repeat all around until the end. So we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, Four single crochet five single crochet and then decrease in the next two stitches so we're going to go in the front loop of the first stitch pull through and then go in the front loop of the second stitch pull through so we have three loops on your hook and then we're going to pull through all the three loops together Okay, so that is an invisible decrease as you can see it doesn't leave a lot of space so it's better that way okay and then we're going to repeat that again so i'm going to show you one more time so we're going to do five single crochet so one two three four five and then decrease so you're going to go in the front loop pull through okay so go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and then pull through all the three together okay so you're going to repeat that all around until here at the end so you're going to do five single crochet decrease five single crochet decrease until the end Okay, so after you're done with that uh, in our 12th row uh, we're going to do four single crochet and then decrease and repeat all the way around until the end so we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, and then four, and then decrease in the next two stitches. So you're going to go in the front loop, pull through, go in the front loop of the next one, pull through, and pull through all the three stitches. Okay, so you're going to repeat that again. So you're going to do four single crochet, decrease in the next two stitches, and repeat all the way around until here at the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 13th row, uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches, then decrease and repeat all the way around until the end. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, and then decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again. So you're going to do one single crochet, two, three, and then decrease in the next two stitches again. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all around until the end. So you're going to do three single crochet, decrease, three single crochet, decrease until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 13th row, uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches, then decrease and repeat all the way around until the end. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, and then decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again. So you're going to do one single crochet, two, three, and then decrease in the next two stitches again. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all around until the end. So you're going to do three single crochet, decrease, three single crochet, decrease until the end. Okay, so after we're done with that, uh, in our 14th row, we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then decrease and repeat all the way around until the end. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, Okay, and then decrease in the next stitch. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again. So single crochet. And then another single crochet. And decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, so you're going to repeat that until here at the end. So you're going to do uh, two single crochet, decrease, two single crochet, decrease until the end. So after you're done with that row, uh, that was our last row, uh, we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. So you're going to go in the next stitch, pull through and pull through the next row. And then you're going to cut your yarn long enough for stitching. So you're just going to cut through like that. And then I'll pull through. Okay, so as you can see, there's this yarn remaining. So I'm going to use this to attach it to the body. And then after you're done, make sure you stuff your head completely uh, so that it looks uh, nice. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to do the legs. Okay, so the legs are quite easy. So uh, we're going to uh, start with the magic ring. Okay, so we're going to do the magic ring. And then we're going to do seven single crochet into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, then another single crochet. Okay, so two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Okay, after that I'm going to pull my end to close the gap so that it looks nice. Okay, and then I'm going to put my marker over here to mark uh, where I began. Okay, and then so after that, uh, in the next six rows, which is I mean from row one until row six, so this is our first row. So for the next five rows, you're going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of seven single crochet in each row okay so you're going to do single crochet and then single crochet okay so you're going to repeat all the way around in this row and in the next five rows okay so when you're done you should have something uh, like this okay so you have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows until the end. So I'll see you when you're done with your um, sixth row, so that I show you how to do the, uh, so, the uh, so that I show you how to join the two together. Okay, so after we are done with both our legs, we are going to join them together. So as you can see, I changed to a different color because I want the body to have a different color, which is uh, this dark blue. So I'm going to do a chain two first. So I'll do one, two, and then I'll take my other leg and uh, where I finished off, I'm going to start in the next stitch. So I'm just going to go in the next stitch and then pull through, and then I'm going to do a single crochet. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to continue all the way around doing a single crochet in both the legs. So I'm going to do a single crochet and then do single crochet, continue. Single crochet all the way around, single crochet. crochet single crochet single crochet okay and then here uh, where I join together the two uh, the two chains I'll go there and do two single crochet Okay, so I'll go in the next stitch and do a single crochet where I did a chain two. Okay, so I'll do a single crochet in there. And go in the next chain also again and do single crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to continue again in the other leg, in the other leg all the way around. So I'm going to do single crochet. Then do single crochet. Single crochet. Single crochet. Single crochet. Single crochet. Okay, so again in the next in our chain two over here, I'm going to go in the first chain, do another single crochet here. So I do single crochet. And also in the next chain that I made, I'm going to do another single crochet in the next chain here. Okay, so that way this is how it looks like. So when you join the two legs together, and then after that, we're going to start again in our next row. 
Okay, so I'm just I'm just going to take my marker and put it over here. Okay, and then I'm going to start doing again a single crochet all the way around until the end okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet in the next two stitches until you get here where your marker is okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so repeat that all the way around until here where the marker is Okay, so after I get where my marker is, as you can see, this is how it should look like when you join the two legs together. Okay, so in the next row, um, which is row eight, we are going to do two single crochet, then increase, two single crochet, increase, and repeat all the way around until the end. So we're going to do one, two, and then increase in the next stitch so we're going to do two single crochet in the same row in the same stitch i mean and then you're going to repeat that again so two single crochet so one and then two and then increase in the next stitch increase okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around so that will be a total you're going to repeat the same pattern for a total of six times until the end where your marker is okay so after you're done with that uh in the next five rows which is row nine until row 13 we're going to do single crochet all the way around okay so we're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around until row 13 so do single crochet in each row all the way around so i'll see you when you're done with your row 13 and then i'll show you how to do the 14th row okay, so guys after you're done with your 13th row this is how it looks like so before you continue make sure you stuff your legs a little bit so i already did that okay so we're going to start with our 14th row and in our 14th row we're going to start decreasing so we're going to do two single crochet then decrease two single crochet decrease all the way around until the end so we're going to do one single crochet two single crochet and then decrease in the next one okay so we're going to go in the next in the front loop of the next two stitches and then pull through all the three loops okay so we're going to repeat that again so you're going to do two single crochet and okay and then decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loops of both the two stitches and pull through okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end after you're done with that uh in our next row we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 18 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so repeat that until the end where here where our marker is Okay, so after you're done with that uh that was our last row you're just going to go to the next stitch and then pull through all the two loops or slip stitch and then leave your yarn uh, long enough to um to join the body and the head so as you can see they are all is the same size so we're going to join them together later so uh, make sure you stuff your body fully and also make sure you stuff your head fully and then I'll show you how to do the ears okay so for the ears uh, we're going to start uh, with the magic ring and five single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to start with the magic ring and then do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet 
three, single crochet, four, single crochet, five. Okay, and then I'm going to pull through to close the gap. Okay, like that. And then I'll take my marker and put it over here. So, and then for the second row, we are going to increase all the way around until the end for a total of 10 single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to do two single crochet in the first stitch. So two single crochet. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and also you're going to repeat that again also in the remaining three stitches for a total of 10 stitches. Okay, so after that in our third row, we're going to do single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase all the way around for a total of 15 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. So we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again, single crochet, and then increase. So we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end for a total of 15 stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next three rows, which is row four, five, and six, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 15 stitches in each row. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so repeat this all the way around in this row and the other two rows. So I'll see you when you're done with your sixth row so that we start the seventh row together. Okay, so after our sixth row, uh, in our seventh row, we're going to start decreasing. So you're going to do five single crochet in the next five stitches, then decrease and repeat that two times for a total of 13, 13 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, single crochet, four, single crochet, five, and then decrease in the next two stitches. So we're going to go in the front loop of the first, pull through, and front loop of the second one, pull through, and pull through all the three stitches. Okay. So you're going to repeat that uh, one more time until here where the marker is. So you're going to do five single crochet and then decrease one more time. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our eighth row, we're going to do single crochet and our ninth row. So in the next two rows, you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 13 stitches in each row. So you're going to do single crochet. Single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so repeat all the way around until the end and also in the next row. So I'll see you when you're done with your ninth row so that I show you how to do the tenth row. Okay, so after you're done with your ninth row, uh, in our tenth row, we are going to do single crochet in the next four stitches, then decrease and repeat that two times for a total of 11 stitches. Okay, so so we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, sorry, it's a little bit tight. Okay, so single crochet, two, and then single crochet, three, single crochet, four, and then decrease in the next two stitches. So we're going to go in the front loop, 
pull through then go in the next front loop pull through and pull through all the three together okay so repeat that one more time so single crochet in the next four stitches and then decrease in the last two stitches okay so after you're done with that uh in our 11th row which is our last row uh we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end and then you're going to cut your yarn and leave a long uh a long yarn for weaving okay so you're going to do just single crochet single crochet single crochet and then again single crochet okay so repeat that all the way around until the end for a total of 11 stitches and then cut your yarn and then i'll show you how to make the arm okay so the arm is quite easy so we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do magic ring and one one two three four five six Okay, and then I'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap okay and then after that uh, I'm going to do single crochet so it's quite easy we're going to do single crochet in the next five rows so in this row in the next row which is row two until row six do single crochet all the way around and then you have um, something that looks like this okay so when you're done I'll show you how to join all the parts together so guys as you can see i already finished putting the parts together so uh what i did is i put the ears uh between the the third and the fourth row so it, it takes a total of four rows like that and also when you're uh, stitching the hands you have to make sure they're in line with the ears together okay so just the same with the other side and i made a small ball tie for this ball tie i made a chain six and then I did um, half double crochet all the way through for a total of three rows and then I stitched it here at the end okay and for the eyes I embroidered them just as you can see so I wanted it to be a sleepy bunny little, little sleepy bunny so I embroidered it here for a total of three rows like that and also for the mouth I embroidered it Okay, so uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed your, uh, this button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so until next time, bye.